This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today we are taking a look at things you need to know before playing Starbound. Now we're going to cover a lot of information today, so get your learning caps on. Okay, here we go. First thing we're going to talk about is planets. Now, sometimes your planets can become corrupt and it is possible to reset the planets individually. In order to do that, you are going to need to go into your navigation console and click on the planet. Now you will see the location down here below. You need to pay attention to these numbers and you need to write these numbers down. So we would write down 98483898 and then the negative 991234533. Once you have written that down, you are going to exit out of the game completely, and you are going to go into your Starbound folder. But Firespark, how do I find my Starbound folder? Steam's a pain in my butt, and I don't know where it puts anything. No worries. I'm going to show you. It's simple, and it's easy. So we're going to go on over to Steam. All you are going to do is go into Steam, go to your game library, right click on Starbound's name, scroll down to properties. Now I got that cut off for specific reasons. You're not going to see it, but it's pretty easy. Just right click on it and click properties. It's going to bring up a window like this. Then you are going to click on local files and then you click browse local files. That will take you to your Starbound folder. Once you are in your Starbound folder, you will see something like this. You won't see this because I did this. You should see all of these files from here to here. Now, you're going to go to your storage folder and you're going to go to your universe folder. Now, here is all of the planets in my universe and you're going to look at these first two numbers. You are not going to pay attention to any of this. These numbers right here, let me get it, get it selected. Come on, Windows. These numbers right here are the X and Y coordinates of your planet. The exact same as they are in game. So if we go back to in game and we open up our planet, you can see the X is first and then the Y. So it is the same thing in the folder this number right here is going to be your x and then this number right here is going to be your y all you have to do if you want to reset your planet is just delete it i'm not going to do it because i don't want to mess up anything in my game this is actually from my let's play series this is in that that starbound folder so i don't want to delete anything but anyway i would just delete this and then when i go back into game completely restart starbound it's going to regenerate this planet from scratch like it was when you first went to it now there's some other things that you need to keep in mind in this folder and this actually segues us perfectly into the next things that I want to talk about which mainly only has to do with this folder and not the you know not being in game. First, this folder right here is your storage folder. This is one of your most important folders in Starbound. This folder contains your character, actually all of your characters and your universe. Notice I said universe. You only have one universe that is shared between all of your characters. So those of you that play through the game and then create a new character and then attempt to play through the game again, when you go back to the outpost, the outpost, everything you unlocked, everything will be there. And any planets that you visit with your new character that you visited with your old character, those planets will be changed however you change them with your first character. So if you go to a planet with character A and you build a base, then you go to the same planet with character B that you built that base on, it's still going to be there. So if you really want to start fresh, now remember you're going to lose everything if you do this. All you have to do is delete this universe folder right here. Just delete it. Then when you start a fresh new character, the outpost will be empty and the universe will be fresh and new. If you want to start completely new and not have anything, you can actually delete both of these folders or delete the storage folder altogether. 
Now that leads us into another important thing. If you're playing Starbound, I don't care how you're playing Starbound, if you're just playing the game, this folder is so important for the pure fact that you need to back it up. Starbound is a glitchy game. It corrupts, it crashes, it has a lot of issues. Go look at the, the Chucklefish forms for Starbound. You will see so many people that have lost their worlds due to crashes, modding, you name it. This folder is super important. Back this folder up. How do you back it up? Drag it to your desktop. You can shrink this window down, drag store this storage folder over to your desktop and make a copy. What I like to do is I like to zip it, as you saw here. I just right click on it and click zip and I create, you know, rename it backup, blah, blah, blah. And that creates a backup of my world. I do this about once a week. That way, if anything bad happens, I'm not completely out of my character. I may lose some progress, but it's not the end of the world. So remember, back this folder up. Do, do it however you want copy them to an, uh, you know another folder out of your starbound folder and name them differently zip them in a zip file and leave them in the folder however you want to do it this folder is super important now the last thing that i want to cover is installing mods you see that i have a mods folder right here Steam installs mods differently than base Starbound. So because you can have Starbound not in Steam, you can actually install mods without the use of the Steam Workshop. The first thing I'm going to show you here is the Steam Workshop way. Steam Workshop is super, super simple. All you have to do is click on Starbound over in your games library. Look for this button right here that says Browse the Workshop. Click that. And that's going to take you to the mods, all kinds of mods. You can see here that they have the most popular ones in the past week and you can click them and go to them or you can browse the most popular mods and scroll through them that way. So let's say that we want to install this shield augment mod. It's really easy. Once we click on it, all we do is scroll down till you see this subscribe button. Then you click subscribe. That's it. That's all there is to it. The mod is installed. Once you click subscribe, go back to your game, click play. It's going to be active. Now, say you don't want the mod anymore. All you have to do is just come back here and click unsubscribe. The easiest way to find that is to go up here where it says browse and click subscribed items that will show you every item that you're subscribed to and you can easily unsubscribe from that item now some of you may not have steam or you may not want to install mods through steam steam doesn't do the best at managing mods when you uninstall them and stuff like that depending on the game it does different wonky things some of you may just want to install the mods by yourself and you can do that as well you don't have to mess with steam's way of installing mods at all or if you don't have steam you can still install mods you want this folder right here inside your starbound folder you're going to double click it and you can see that i already have mods installed you can get these by just going to Google and searching Starbound mods. Most of them are going to come up in the Chucklefish Starbound forms. They have a whole mod section that's pretty nicely laid out and easy to find different types of mods. Once you've found the ones that you want and you've downloaded them, all you have to do is unzip them if they are zipped. If they are not zipped or compressed in some way, then you just drag them in here. That's it. It should be a pack file like you see here. Sometimes they're a little more intensive and they'll have a folder with them. Other times, you know, most times they won't. I have one that's a world edit that actually has a folder and it's a little more complicated, but all I did was just unzip it, drag everything that was inside the zip file and dropped it in, in my folder and it ran perfectly. So that's all there is to that. And that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. It was just a short video. Hopefully it answered a lot of questions for people if you have any other questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below let me know what you thought let me know if you found it helpful if you're shy and you don't like to comment just hit that thumbs up button and show your support until next time thanks for watching